G'day guys, M Tim Tam here. Today we're going to learn about a new feature that is part of the new feature bundle in Octane version 1.01. .01. I have here the 1.02 version, which is a little small bug fixing with the uh, power box, I think it was. Uh, some sort of noise happening along with other little bug fixes here and there. So, uh, what is Bloom and Glare? Well, Bloom and Glare is pretty much um, the actual feature is called itself. You can now add bloom and glare to your scene, making it making it extremely more realistic and a bit of a time saver for all the people that use Photoshop, GIMP, Paint.net, and other various image editing platforms or software. So I have here a little scene that I made with uh, Susanna and some uh, shape that's surrounding it to give it to that little inbox look. I'll let this render off. Um, and I'll show you where it is. So over here in the toolbar over here there is this little star and this is um, called the current post-processing and here we have some functions um, enable power, bloom power, glare power, give ray mount, angle, glare angle and glare blur. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory however I'll be showing you uh, some uh, obviously I'll show you some examples so let's just pause the render and before we do this um, let's go into the image and let's just make the scene a bit more brighter to make it a bit more noticeable okay so we're going to go to enable and check enabled so right off the bat um, given your current um, uh, settings or default settings. Uh, this is how it would look like. You let's just add everything to zero, and uh, so bloom power. What's bloom power? Bloom power is pretty much the the actual bloomness of the actual uh, all the. Uh, it's pretty much put blooming all of the brightness um, areas that's in your scene. Now this will pick up um, uh, fireflies, unfortunately. But it can be controlled after rendering it. So this is the bloom power. Let's just leave this over here. This is the glare amount. And the glare amount is pretty much picking up all the uh, the um, really highlighted scenes and adding the uh, glare to them. And the glare ray amount is adding the amount of stars that's been added, the amount of streaks that's added to the chosen um, glare. So as you can see here, um, this area here that's been picked up by the bloom power and the glare, by the bloom power is now being acted upon. And as you can see there's a lot of streaks happening. I usually leave mine around four and the angle is pretty much the angle of the uh, chosen uh, glare and as you can see the angle is twisting and the blur is pretty much blurring out the chosen uh, effect if you will as you can see it's extremely strong but if you blur it out, it will blur out the glaring. Um, it's a very useful feature, um, extremely useful. It takes a lot off my back in After Effects. But um, hopefully they can add in, um, add in some um, uh, lens flare effects and then they will be talking. But it's a really nice feature to have, experiment with it. Um, it will change for different scenes. I've seen someone do a sunset setting with a silhouette background, which was extremely well done. And hopefully we can make some good renders out of this. Thanks for watching.